It's time! All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's gonna try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man, but as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab, right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it, he will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters with some differences in height and a similar reach. Now here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, Fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Iron! Okay, could take yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand here. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Nice defense there. Huge block. Head kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Big body kick. Lee's 
head kick looked like that one was blocked. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Ooh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. All collar tie. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. He is all about that left kick to the body. Ooh, what a head kick. All right, single collar tie now. And they separate. Nice strike. Hip into that leg kick. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Some nice back and forth action here. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? Lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Oh, big head kick lands. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Lee gets touched by that kick there. Oh, bleeding from his cheek now. That can't feel good. Beautiful. That's a big strike right there. Another elbow from the clinch lands. Oh man, head kick lands. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. The combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. He engages in the single power tie. And they separate. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Oh, nice jab. Nice leg kick. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot. That's income. Connects with the right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Goes back to that left kick once again. Single collar tie now. Nice loop of punch. Beautiful head kick. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Oh, that straight punch. Knocked his head in the wrong direction. Really putting his opponent on notice. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Final seconds. Big punch lands in the middle. Round two straight ahead. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Massive head kick. Oh, he's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. He's 
getting lit up right now, John. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combination, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Nice punch lands. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Right hand punch with the clinch. And they separate. Lee's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of sweat. Big head kick. Three minutes to go. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. That knee might have landed there. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Once again, employing the knee. That knee might have landed there. Pretty nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land that strike. Oh, shades of Ben Saunders against Brandon Wolf back in the day. A lot of knees, a lot of volume here. I'm not sure how many more he can take. My boy John Anik is a encyclopedia of knowledge and threw it all the way back. But those knees will definitely take the fact the longer this fight goes. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Beautiful kick. How about that shin? DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming, and when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. Oh, a huge block there. And he continues to work the body here. Big knee there. Big punch land. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. And he landed a nice hook shot there, DC. He landed the hook exactly where he needed it to be and threw it with ill intent. Lee gets hit with a kick. Big punch from the clinch. Caught that kick there. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. What a tricky head kick. Blocks the shot. Push kick there to the body. What a punch. Oh, bone on bone, shin slash foot, right to the skull. That is how you scramble, folks. Just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous. He did a fantastic job 
of mixing up his target. Not him, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase his finish. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Straight punch lands. Man, that cut is just getting worse by the minute. Rated R tonight. A oh, little single collar tie there. And they separate. Nice kick. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Goes to the body there. Big leg kick land. Just misses with the straight right. Lands a knee there. Nice deception there to get that knee to the target. Really good knee. Nice job of driving the right to the target. Get that land exactly where you want it. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. And we got a fight on our hands. Right. It's such a fast leg kick. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, get fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call 50-50 because nobody has the advantage. Who's going to be the one? to find that one little area that they can expose to give them the slightest advantage. Nice. Lee's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Oh, single collar tie here. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to pull counter after blocking the shot. And they separate. just looking to recover. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Big kick land. Oh man, that cut looks terrible. He's bleeding like crazy. I wouldn't be surprised if they stopped the fight with that cut at some point. There's no give on that leg kick. That one snuck in. Nice right. And both guys really throwing with authority. Liver kick. Oh, collar tie. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Nice head kick. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out. Oh. Big kick. And lands the left there. And he connects there, DC. Great job, man, in that punch. All right, single collar tie now. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing. Wow! That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. 
All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Good stick. Kick to the body by Lee. Sneaky head kick. Oh, nice right hand counter. up now and now the damage is about to start connects with a right working off of his back here looks like he may try to hip escape strong bottom work here staying busy all right full guard here dc what does he need to do to improve position well he's got to start to build his posture get some damage off move the half guard which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement but if you're on the bottom you got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Lands with the ground and pound here. He's putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Nice counter right hook there. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking round early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. All right, whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you gotta show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 15 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud 